Hello there. This video is a continuation of an extraction of palladium from e-waste. Last week I dissolved 206 grams of cemented silver and separated silver ions from palladium and any impurities that were present. This week I had to get the palladium out of the solution and boy did it take a week. Cementing palladium on copper is slow, very slow. In fact, some of it is still dissolved when I'm making this video. Don't you worry, I will get all of it, but it might take me a, a minute or two. This is because a reduced palladium metal sticks to the copper surface and protects it from reacting with more palladium ions. To get around this, I had to physically clean the surface. At first, what I was removing was an amorphous looking black layer, but after a few days, visible crystals began to form. When I decided to collect the cemented palladium, I scraped and washed the copper and carefully decanted the solution. On the piece of copper foil that fell into the solution early this week, the layer of palladium was thick enough it was flaking off.
Because palladium is quite dense, most of it stayed in the beaker. All of this would have been over a week ago if I had some dimethylglyoxime, or DMG for short, but here we are. No doubt, there was still some palladium left in the solution, and I lost some with washing, but worry not, I'll get it soon. Dried palladium didn't look the best, so I boiled it in distilled water. After drying the powder the second time, I obtained 1.45 grams of palladium. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and see you next week when I will show you how I processed all this silver chloride.